Hawks, the guy who ran his boat on one in England. These are the various Sterling engines built over the years. So is Pat, are patents a problem? Mm -hmm. Everyone, see here's one run off a of search. The guy who was too cheap to get a solar collector, he used a searchlight, which brings it to an intense beam. There you go. That works. Bingo. <laughs> here's, guys have put them on both. Here's an attempt to use, see, this is an attempt to use in a car, which I thought, oh man, you missed, you missed the point, man. No, that's not. <laughs> yeah. Start thing. Most power is used for heating and cooling homes, not in running vehicles. Vehicles are a big waste of power, but do it about a minute. The key thing though is what other engines, it's sunlight, manure, garbage, sewerage, mm -hmm. or the exhaust heat of another engine. Right. Or especially if you had a power plant. Well, you have, the ideal place, of course, is a power plant. Anything Why? with Why? waste energy. Because there you got about 50 to 60 megawatts of waste heat in one spot. Right. Does the excess weight of this thing matter? No. Does the fact it's slow starting matter? No. <laughs> no. Nope. What matters is it uses no fuel, makes no pollutants, has, and once it's running, it just runs and runs and runs. In fact, when you turn the when you heat when heat's turned off, it takes a while for this thing to cool down. It keeps running after the power's out. I think the problem is I got too much soot from that. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Should have cleaned that thing up better. Trouble with a dog on candle, it puts out soot like crazy. Oh, yeah. So that was exactly one minute. Yeah. Well, you can see that again, this weakness is absolutely zero low end torque. So the, the Minister Robert Sterling patented this in England, something about 1816, somewhere in there. And he patented because the early steam engines kept blowing up, and he was tired of seeing all of his parishioners. And maimed and horribly burned and mutilated from exploding steam engines. Right. And he couldn't stand. He couldn't stand going to funerals or going visiting people in hospitals with burned and sh shrapnel fragments all through them mm -hmm. and exploding steam engines. So he said, "I'm going to make a better engine, one that won't explode." And he did. Right. No heat enters. I mean, I'm sorry. No fuel enters the cylinder. No fuel exits the cylinder. No gas. So there's no maintenance either, then. Well, eventually the bearings and stuff will eventually wear. Right. But you don't you don't need to oil those those two places. Yeah. There's no carburation. There are no valves. There's no carburation. There's no valves. Does it maintain the exact, well, depending on how much yeah. fuel you, or heat you give it? Yeah. So it goes up, the more heat you put in. Now the impressive thing is, see if you can capture this, I'm going to stop, I'm going to blow it out. No, my